The iOS app Scenic is on the market for several years now and has become very popular among many motorcyclists. Until now, there was no route planner for the Windows world that could export routes in the special format of Scenic. With version 6.0 of Track of the Day, a specialized Scenic export is available and this video shows how it works. In the Garmin world, a distinction has long been made between VIA and shaping points. At Garmin, VIA points are the points of a route that have to be approached. If you don't want to hit a Garmin VIA point, you have to skip it. In contrast, there are the shaping points, which will silently skip on Garmin devices as soon as you get closer to the next route point. There is no such distinction in the TomTom -tom world or in the new BMW connected ride navigator. Where there are only stops, stops must always be approached or explicitly skipped. Scenic takes a slightly different approach here, which is a little reminiscent of Garmin. At Scenic, there are stops and via points. The Scenic via points are the same as the Garmin shaping points, which can be quite confusing. What Garmin calls a via point is a stop point at Scenic. If manual shaping or auto shaping is activated, you can plan and track of the day with VIA and shaping points in the style of Garmin. When exporting routes to Scenic, the Garmin VIA points will be exported as Scenic stop points and the Garmin shaping points will be exported as Scenic VIA points. Okay, you have to let that sink in first. Because it sounds so confusing, we will now illustrate this with the example of a motorcycle tour on the Canary Island of Lanzarote. Our tour starts in Punta Mujeres. Via Orzola we go to the Mirador Rio, then to Aria and Via Tigise to Taguadan in the Taiman Faya National Park. For lunch we stop at a restaurant in El Golfo and enjoy the afternoon in Playa Blanca.
return via themes, Uga to Punta Mujeres. At the Mirador Rio, we plan a break of 60 minutes, which makes this route point a Garmin via point. We do the same with the lunch break in El Golfo and Playa Blanca. After our route planning is complete, we save the tour to the local SQL database so that we can quickly reopen, edit or re-export it at any time. To export to the Scenic app, click the button with the arrow symbol on the left side of the map. The dialog for the route export starts. Here we select the Scenic export. In the photo gallery, we can see how the export works and how the route will then be visible in the Scenic app. After clicking on the export button, the conversion of the route from Garmin style to scenic style will start. Now the scenic website for uploading routes is opened, where we log in with our scenic access data. After clicking on send to scenic the export is already done. Now we start the Scenic app on our iPhone. Tap on the hamburger menu in the top left corner and select Import. After that, we tap on Import queue. Here we can see our example, which we have exported as a GPX route, as a GPX track and in the special style of Scenic. We import the special scenic format and wait for the route to be calculated. Now we can start the navigation. If you like, you can also rotate the iPhone to landscape mode, which is very well supported by Scenic. If you look at the route in detail, you can see that the stops at Mirador Rio, El Golfo and Playa Blanca have been implemented correctly. All shaping points set during planning are displayed as Scenic via points. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.